A federal appeals court in Texas has ruled that they can ban abortions. The governor there signed an executive order banning non-essential procedures, so that includes abortions during this pandemic. Thanks for staying with us at 4.30. I'm Kristen Goodwillie. And I'm Doug Profit. So where does Kentucky stand in all of this? It's a question that many have been calling the rant line about over the past few days. Our Rose McBride has been checking it out. W Women's Surgical Center is still open to perform abortions. It's the only abortion provider in the state, but Attorney General Daniel Cameron is trying to block abortions in response to the coronavirus pandemic. In a press conference, Governor Andy Bashir called on medical professionals to stop any elective procedures. He left the decision up to those providers to determine what counts as elective. Attorney General Daniel Cameron considers abortions elective, saying in a statement, abortion providers should join the thousands of other medical professionals across the state in ceasing elective procedures unless the life of the mother is at risk to protect the health of their patients and slow the spread of the coronavirus. He says the reason is to follow social distancing protocols and conserve medical supplies. But Kentucky ACLU staff attorney Heather Gatnerick says supplies aren't a concern when it comes to abortions. Those procedures don't require hardly any PPE. Uh, that a, a medication abortion is strictly um, the hand, a physician handing out a pill to a patient. Cameron called on the Cabinet for Health and Family Services Acting Secretary Eric Friedlander to confirm that abortion providers are violating the governor's executive order. That would then give Cameron the ability to take action against abortion providers. I reached out to Friedlander's office with no response. However, a bill currently moving through the Senate would allow Cameron to sidestep the CHFS. House Bill 451 would let Cameron act as a special prosecutor of abortion laws. An amendment added last week would also allow the attorney general to enforce emergency orders by the governor, meaning Cameron could consider abortions elective procedures. I mean, so it is pretty obvious to me that what the General Assembly is doing here is using this pandemic as a way to get what they've wanted for the past few years, which is a ban on abortion. The bill passed through a Senate committee last week. I reached out to House Bill 451's primary sponsors and did not get a response from either. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.